It is always best to test a cable from both ends. It can help reduce error in VOP and uncover hidden faults. A reduction in the TDR pulse energy caused by attenuation or cable loss can make a small fault difficult to see if the fault is a long distance away. By going to the end of the cable and testing in the opposite direction, you place yourself and the TDR much closer to the fault, making it easier for the TDR to locate. The Tracker Pro, TDR, and Tracker View has an auto search feature which allows you to quickly locate the largest events and multiple events along the cable. Press Auto Search. Cursor 3 moves to the largest impedance, and there will be markers placed at the events along the cable. Tracker View allows you to open an overlay on top of your primary waveform. To do this, click Open Overlay and navigate to the file you'd like to open. In this situation, I'm opening a TDR trace shot from the opposite end. Once the Tracker View has the file open, you can use the arrows to move the overlay up or down so that you can see both files at the same time. The vertical gain control increases or decreases the vertical amplitude or gain of the waveform display. Increasing the vertical gain of the waveform display allows the user to see smaller reflections or minor faults on the cable signature. In this example, we've got the same piece of cable shot from both ends. So it's helpful to mirror the overlay and then adjust it left to right so that the events align. I'd like to roughly adjust the end of the cable of the overlay with the outgoing pulse of the primary waveform. Then I'll pick an event on the primary waveform and place cursor 2 on the event and then adjust the overlay to align with that event. Please note that you always want to measure to the leading edge or the left hand edge of an event on your primary waveform, but on a mirrored overlay you want to measure to the right hand edge. Once you have aligned your overlay properly with your primary waveform, you can then deselect the drag tool. Any adjustments you make to the primary waveform will also affect the overlay. With cursor 2 selected, I can now see that all of the events are aligning correctly. You may notice that the end of cable on my overlay does not align with the outgoing pulse of my primary waveform. This is due to the fact that we used a 10-foot jumper to connect from the TDR to the cable under test.